ESPN NFL analyst Lomas Brown joins us now for a game we're calling Beef or Bogus. Beef or Bogus. Sounds delicious. <laughs> Lomas is in on this. Uh, Lomas, we're going to give you some controversial comments that okay. were made around the league. You tell us whether that player has legitimate beef okay. or if that comment you hear is bogus. And we're starting with Chris Johnson. We just told you two games, 21 yards. Wow. Fantasy owners have to be flipping their lids over this. But you know what? CJ says it's not his fault. He's not the one to take the blame. Listen. I wouldn't sit here and say I'm the blame. I'm not the guy to sit here and, and be the guy that point fingers and, and things like that. It's just a situation where I'm going to be only as good as my line going to be. So uh, we got to work together and get better together. I'm the highest paid guy on this team. So of course I get the criticism, but it's, it's something that I don't let me get down. I, I know it's a situation where I always just got to get better as a team. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa here. Oh. I'm sitting across from an offensive lineman. On, you Chris. hear your running back come out and say he's only as good as his offensive oh. line when he's got 21 yards rushing over the course of these uh, the two games in this season. Beef or bogus? Oh, moment? that is so bogus. I mean, Sarah, look at here. It's called a football team. And everybody has to be on the same accord. Not just the offensive lineman, not just Chris Johnson, not just the quarterback. All of us. So he has a factor into this blame. It's a lot of the things your running backs can do for you. They could uh, get involved in the passing game. They could be pretty good at pass protection. They could even pat those guys on the butt and encourage them. But to throw them under the bus like this and to say, no, you know, it's not just my fault. Me and my linemen have to get this done. That is so bogus. And I don't like that. If you're in the locker room, you're one of his linemen. How are you taking this? Oh, well, I'm coming up to Chris and we're, we're going to have a private conversation. We won't talk in front of everybody I'll pull him off to the side but it would be a very stern conversation letting him know look I'm not the only one heard this you got these other four guys that you count on they heard that too Chris. yeah I don't want Lomas coming after me Thank Chris you. Johnson <laughs> next up Adrian Peterson who's got a challenge for the 49ers defense when the Vikings host San Fran on Sunday take a listen we're looking forward to the challenge man uh, I don't think they have faced a, um, a run attack offense um, like like we have um, so I think that can you know switch things up but we're looking forward to playing those guys I'm sure they they'll come in um, focus on trying to stop the run and that's where we just got to be um, productive offensively you know keep those guys honest you know um, you know complete some balls down the field and still running the ball you know so we have a job to do and I feel like if we're able to execute um, our game plan then we should be okay they haven't seen a run game like the Vikings are bringing. Beef or bogus there? You know, I like that. That's beef to me. I love that because he's not, to me, he's not bragging. What he's saying is that, look, I am a very good running back, which we all know, AP, all day long. And what he's saying is the truth. For those guys to be the physical team, they're going to have to be physical. He's going to have, have to have a physical presence on that field. Not only outside those tackles, sir, but he's going to have to be able to run between those tackles. We all know San Francisco, very good defense, especially along that front four. But if they're going to have a chance to win this game, they must at least try to establish the run. I have no problem with what Adrian Peterson said. I like that. The uh, rush defense for the Niners ranks sixth in the Absolutely. league we finish with rg3 who isn't holding back in his comments on how the rams carried themselves last sunday in their win over the redskins here's what he had to say now there was some extracurricular stuff going on after the plays uh, they were doing a lot of dirty things um you know, I think I still think they have an extremely good team. That doesn't take anything away from them. Uh, but the game was unprofessional. You know, from what I experienced against the Saints, compared to that game, it was definitely unprofessional, and uh, it does need to be cleaned up. They made it a point, I, obviously, all week to to hit me. Um, and you know, some of the shots were cheap and uh, of that nature, but. It's nothing I can control. Like I said, teams are going to try to hit me because they don't think I can take a hit. Uh, I think I proved that over my career that I can. So uh, it's it's football. You hear the word unprofessional. <laughs> I heard it more than once there. Beef or is that bogus? This is bogus. Can I give you a little? 
Ding, 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 RG3. <laughs> this is you, it's still early in your career. You, this is just his third game of his career, and he's saying what is professional and what is unprofessional. Believe me, like I said the other day, sir, I'm the expert at being at the bottom of piles, <laughs> and there's a lot of things going now. RG3, you got a lot of things coming your way as long as you're going to be in this game. So it's too early. Calm down. It's too early, my good man. Well, we didn't see it there but in that clip, but he did say, am I going to get fined for saying this before he said it? <laughs> I appreciate the honesty in him just saying what he thinks. He is honest. He's an honest guy, but, sir, he got so many more years of abuse coming his way. <laughs> Yeah, he's two games in. Lomas Brown, this guy is always honest, hanging with us all afternoon here on SportsCenter.